So with uh, Ninja Gaiden 4 coming around the corner, I'm going to explain quickly how to get Ninja Gaiden Black to run on the Xbox Simulator. I finished the game just a few days ago. It was a very smooth experience. I think it only had like two or three crashes, which uh, can be solved very easily. So I'll show you my experience. So first of all, you have to download Xemu, which is the Xbox Simulator. You can check the compatibility here by clicking here. And you can see that Ninja Gaiden Black is considered playable. So they're going to tell you like the known issues that can crop up, you know, with updates and everything. So you might have to check this out and see if there's something that, uh, some fixes that you can use if there's some issues. So for example, this one is something that I used. They said that the sounds of battle are too quiet and to disable HRTF filtering. I'll show you how to do this later. So. When you get uh, the Xemi emulator, which is here, you have required files that you need to have, which you can find here. You go to documentation, uh, Xemu, which, uh, which are the link in the description, and then there's uh, required files. So they will tell you that you need a MCPX boot ROM image, flash ROM image, and hard disk image. So the first two, you have to get it uh, from your Xbox or, you, you know, any way you need. But the hard disk image, you can get it here. So, which is a preformatted Xbox hard disk image, free of any copyrighted content. So, they can provide this one directly. So, when you get this, you just have to launch the Xemi emulator, which is here. It says, please insert an Xbox disk. But first, we have to do the stuff that uh, they asked, the required files. You can check this in uh, System. So you go Machine, Setting, System. And then you have to do a MCPX boot ROM, flash ROM, hard disk, EEP ROM. Uh, I don't know if you need this one, I, I forgot. But anyway, that's what you have to do. Then, basically, you have to load a disk. Depending on where you got the backup or the ROM or whatever, you might have to transform this into an ISO file instead of XISO, which is here. So you have to get this website. Sorry, you have to get this website. And then once you have an ISO image, you have to transform this into an XISO. Right. It doesn't work on Firefox, so you might have to use another uh, browser. I'll show you, I'll, I'll, I'll put the link on the description. So we basically have to do select an ISO image and put, you know, the ISO. And then it is going to transform it to an XISO. And this will mean that you can run the game on the Xbox emulator. Which I'm pretty sure it is how it worked. So what I have to do, since I've already done it, I just have to load Ninja Gaiden Black. And then I press reset. And the game is going to load and work. As far as I'm concerned, it has been like a super smooth experience. There was no issue. There were a few crashes. Wait, I have to like get my controller up. Okay. So you can load the game. Uh, I'll pick something that is like... This is basically the end of the game. I don't think this place should spoil the game too much. So as you can see, the game runs correctly. 60 FPS, no issues, very smooth. The Ninja Gaiden Black version is what you want to get instead of the original 2004 version because it has a ton of improvements. And of course you can play the game however you want, you know? So as you can see, the sound of battles are too quiet, right? And this is a new issue, I think, so you have to go to Debug, Audio, and then press HRTF Filtering. You have to disable this. And now it works much better. You can hear the sounds of battle now. Oh, 
All right. And then it might have some crashes, you know, loading a cutscene or at the end of a cutscene. So you have to restart the game and you replace the backend from Vulkan to OpenGL. And it worked for me. You can also increase the resolution and turn resolution scale. You can also put it at uh, 16 by 9 if you want, you know. Which will scale. But I don't think it will be true 16 by 9. Yeah, I don't think it will be. I think uh, because... Ninja Gaiden Black should be able to like support uh, 16 by 9 but I haven't been able to find a way to do this in uh, the Xbox Simulator. I think you have to like get into the ROM directly. So if I find a way, I'll tell you, but yeah. I played it in like 4 by 3 aspect ratio, you know, instead of widescreen. It has been fine for me. So that's pretty much it, right? Debug audio, disable HRTI filtering. You just need to find uh, the files that you need and then get this, the XASO Packer. This website and uh, I think that's pretty much it you just have to load the controller and if you have uh, performance issues just uh, reduces the, interne the internal resolution scale so it will it will look less crisp but uh, the performance is going to be much better and that is pretty much it yeah 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 so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the game. It's very good. I really enjoyed it. Um, just uh, stick to it a few chapters in. It might be a little bit too hard at the start. So you might want to check some tutorials on YouTube if, it, um, if it's an issue for you. But the more you play, the easier it gets. And uh, there's a lot of ton of cool, f ton of, like, cool stuff that happens. Uh, some bosses might be super hard. So I would recommend checking YouTube videos to get tips. I think one account is called JTB, G A I T B. Then he has tons of great tips to like get through the game. So yeah, this version is like the best version of Ninja Gaiden One. Even better than Ninja Gaiden Sigma, in my opinion, because you know they kept like, the original vision and all that stuff. Yeah, it runs great. So yeah, play this game, and I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, I'll answer in the comments. Bye bye.